Assalamu alaikum and welcome back to the 99 Names Art Series. I'm artist Fatmata from Traditionally Inspired Meaningful Art. With Ramadan just a few weeks away, I know many of us are finding ways to deepen our connection with Allah and I hope that this series helps myself and all of you. Today we're reflecting on Allah's name Al-Aziz, which means the Almighty or the Most Honorable. I'm trying blackout poetry, which allows you to take text that already exists, black out some of the words to create your own poem. Now this is something that anyone can do. It's not super technical. So I really do hope that you give this a try. I'm using a passage from Billy Avery's book, An Altar of Words. This page really jumped out at me and I wanted to see if I could find my own words hidden within the text. My process started by simply reading through, seeing which words I felt would really work for what it is that I wanted to say. It felt like a scavenger hunt, trying to find my words within this text and then began blacking out the rest of the text. As I work on bringing my poem to life here, let's dive into the reflection. God is the Almighty, the most honorable and self-sufficient. Allah's domain and power rules over all things and all beings. Allah can also make people powerful, beloved, respected, and honored. And this kind of honor and power is beautiful. It's not tied to a particular office or role or job or status or amount of money. And when Allah blesses you with that, it really can allow you to have the love of the people. And maybe you can think in your life as well of people that you know that sort of have that captivating presence and sort of demand that level of honor, respect, without ever having to necessarily say anything. It's a really beautiful gift. Finally, the lecture that I listened to made a beautiful point about how Allah's power is uncorrupted. Allah remains Al-Hakim, the most wise, as well as Ar-Rahman, the most merciful, even with all the power and all the honor. As always, I'd love to give you a minute to reflect on this beautiful name on your own. I hope you enjoyed that reflection. As you can see, I am well on my way to completing this piece. I think this scene is very humbling, showing us leaving the darkness, looking out towards the light. It's really reflective of us sometimes finding ourselves in doubt, anxiety, fear, a lot of hardship, and looking for Allah, the Honorable, the Almighty, to really guide us. After coloring in some of the areas, it's really coming together, and I wanted to read the poem that I came up with. Prayer has saved us. Praying is how we get through. Praying brings hope. The power of prayer is virtually untapped. So, say a prayer. I hope that you really do give this blackout poetry a try. Think of all of the amazing poems you can discover. I hope that you have a wonderful day. And inshallah, until next time, stay well, and we'll see you then. Assalamu alaikum. Bye.